Hey guys, welcome back or welcome to the Freedom Income YouTube channel, those of you who are new. So this video, I just wanted to record a quick video to show you how to set a stop loss trading with interactive brokers. So I've been using them for a couple of years, really, really good, more than two years actually, and they're really, really good. I speak highly of them, just my own opinion, especially as an international trader based in the UK, a known US trader. Their fees and commissions are pretty cheap considering that I, I am not US based and uh, the executions are super fast, it's a professional platform, the extended hours trading is amazing, the number of instruments available is great, um, <clears throat> probably the only down point or the only drawback is the uh, technical analysis platform which isn't great but you don't, I mean I personally use TradingView for that anyway so I've been using TradingView for more than three years now and I don't, I, um, you know, I, I don't really want to use another platform's uh, technical analysis anyway. So anyway, um, so want to know how to trade options or extended hours etc check out one of my other videos which I showed on my other videos in the past which I uploaded which shows you that this is just money for the stop loss so for example you want to get the stock Nvidia right you first of all type in here the Nvidia and put it on the search box this comes up you click that I've already clicked that so this comes up now right now is actually pre-market right now the time is actually too it's, it's a bit too early yeah you know the hour the, the market few hours but I can still buy it because it's pre-market so I basically go well the thing to check pre-market or extended hours live pricing is to actually use an app called Webull because that's live uh, Webull is spelled W-E-B-U-L-L -L. I actually don't have my mobile phone here with me I, I basically have the app on my phone uh, Webull's free by the way um, well at least for the first few months after that I think you pay two dollars or something per month which is pretty much like free and it's really good apart from the live pricing and extended hours pricing you also get analyst ratings news events and level two pricing information which is useful as well so anyway um so right now uh, i'm not, this might not be 100 percent accurate we accurate so but just say it's two five two five as a as a limit price <laughs> so here for nvidia you'll click on buy uh however many you know it depends on what you want let's just say buy for now um and here Oh, actually, here it actually says here. The thing is, with interactive brokers, I know it says the price here, but with a real account, unless if you subscribe to their data, live pricing data, this is not live. That's why I suggest using Webull, but because if you subscribe to interactive brokers, it might cost you $20, $30 a month. I think it is $20, $30 a month, but I don't do that. I basically subscribe to Webull, which costs me like $2 a month, and I get all this anyway. So let's just put five. Five for now, right? Because but you you want to check Webull though uh, for that. So you want limit price if you want to fill immediately. You want the limit price to be higher than the current trading price. Uh, well, unless if you want to buy at a lower price, then you set it lower, and when the price drops, there will get there. And here I always choose GTC for extended extended hours trading. You want to click here, fill outside RTH. That's the only way to fill if it's not during a market open. And then you click on advanced. Here you can see here advance and you attach a stop loss. You can actually do a t profit taker as well. So let's say you check the the the, the chart, right? And let's say you want to take profit before this sort of previous all time high. You might want to say take a profit at five five, maybe this kind of level, so five eighty five. And just this is a just a recommendation. You don't have to, but for stop losses, I wouldn't set them sort of. I, I want you want to be setting intelligent stop losses, especially with stock trading. Meaning for forex, maybe you want to be setting stop losses, you know, a little bit differently. But for stocks, especially if you've done your research correctly, if the fundamentals, technicals, and sentiments are all great for the stock, and you're super bullish, such as Bitcoin, Nvidia, maybe Tesla or Neo, these kind of stocks, you know, uh, sometimes personally, unless if I take them at a good point, I might not even. Set set a stop loss but uh, you know if you've done your research correctly these stocks you know because what happens if you set your stop loss too tight let's say you buy uh, the best point to set a stop loss is if you had gone in like sort of between this level and this level if you had timed it in that way right this is a four hour chart then you would I would set my stop loss just below this key key, key support this is very very strong support on the uh, on the four hour chart right and it's unlikely that the price will break below it and if it does it might drop quite a lot more so there's no point in carrying that red so so what I do in this case is let's say if I bought here right now now that I'm buying here it might be a little different I 
might set my stop loss maybe here, but if it does go there, it might drop more. So it's, you know, it's hard. You know, you got to decide this for yourself, right? But I like to get, you know, if you get in at a good point, you want to be setting your stop losses be just below a key key support, right? Not above it, not on it, but just below it, in case you get taken out. Because you know, the market, especially in forex, more so in forex, but in anything, you know, that you, you tend to get taken out, right? Because these. You know, these stocks, if you've done your research right, sooner or later, they will probably turn green anyway in time if you've done your research right. Um, so sometimes if you set your stop, let's say you buy at 5, like right now, right now, let's say the price is 5.30, you buy at 5.30, there's no point in setting a stop loss at 5.20. Because you might get taken out, and then it goes your way, uh, and you know why? You know why get taken out such as tight stop loss when it's going to come back? So set them intelligently. So in this case, if you had bought there, but like ideal stop loss will be about maybe this level, 450-ish, right? But now you're buying at 535. Is it worth it to set it at 450? You've got to decide that yourself. But let's say we're going to set it at 5 450 right now. Ideally, you would like to catch it below 500 back here, and then set it below sort of. Uh, set it at about 450 that's perfect right but anyway let's just go here so let's say we want a profit taking at 585 because that was sort of near the all-time high you just put profit taker here again you go to gtc fill outside our, our, our market hours the thing is you can uh, you, you can you can the, the the take profit you can set it during extended hours trading okay so you just click that and even during pre-market or post-market if you stop if your take profit levels hit on the stock it will automatically close your position and bag your profits for you which is really good right but for your stop loss again if you want a stop loss you just you click on stop loss right again we said uh the stop loss at about 450 right you might want not want to set it there because the price uh, the price you're buying it at is no longer my uh, at 500 or less but it's up to you what what you want the stop loss to be but is what I call an intelligent stop loss because it's below a key key support which is unlikely to break and if it does it might drop more so it's up to you about what you decide there what your risk control measures are and then you can only click GTC for this but because because with stop losses they do not hit during pre-market or post-market extended hours trading does not hit your stop loss so if you want to sell at a loss during a pre-market or post-market let's say you notice and you want to sell you don't want to lose anymore you have to close it manually yourself but if you set it stop loss or during market open hours and it hits it it will close it automatically at that at your stop loss level so there from there you just click submit right and remember you got to set your take profit and stop loss when you place the order you can change them later if you want like if you want to alter your stop loss and move it up or if you want to alter your take profit and make it less whatever you want you can do that after but you cannot do it again if you don't set the stop loss or take profit at the first place later you cannot add to it right so you just click click that override override and transmit just just override them right? and then this will hit right uh, and then look order has filled at 529 dollars and 20 cents and these are your this is your profit taker if it gets there and this is your stop loss if it gets down there right like, like, let's say you want to change that now you can now change that let's say you want to change it to 580 you just click on 580 the price and then you click update and that updates your take profit again here if you want to reduce that or if you want to keep it a bit less so let's say you want it at 500 you click on 500 you click update so you can change that as much as you want afterwards but you must set it when you place the order because if you place the order already without it you cannot add it after you have to manually close it yourself afterwards so and if you don't want if you no longer want a stop loss or take profit you just click cancel and then they will get cancelled right but now you have to close this manually you can no longer add uh, the stop loss or the take profit to it and that's how you would do it and to close the position you just click on sell five you know uh, whatever the price uh, this price has to be lower than the current trading price now. Um, so you do that again and fill the card. In order to close the trade, you just close the trade that way, and that's how you close it. So that's how you set a stop loss or a take profit trading on the interactive brokers. Thank you guys, and happy trading.